Hello and welcome to another episode of Lot 49. Today, as I'm sure you're well known, uh, well aware, uh, Trump won the US presidential election. The Republicans won the uh, he won the popular vote as well, and he won. Well, the Republicans won the uh, the House and the Senate. Uh, so, yep, uh, they have a. Uh, there will be a Repub There will be Pre Donald Trump will become the next the forty seventh president of the United States of America, and he will have. a Republican Party with him. Uh, it was a pretty decisive victory. I, I'm not entirely sure I would say he has a man. His policies have a mandate. Uh, there is a lot of angry people in America. People are angry with the state of America at the moment, and. Uh, I dare say Donald Trump <clears throat> uh, his was the voting for Trump was the anger and desperation vote for desperation for change uh, choice candidate for a large portion of those Americans the fact that the Democrats don't seem even remotely uh, attached to reality with regards to the American economy and people's quality of living the fact that they give tons of money billions of tens of hun hundreds of billions of dollars away to Ukraine whilst the country has been collapsing over the last four years it would make sense that uh, Many Americans would simply see the Democrats as uh, not even remotely attached to reality when Donald Trump acknowledges these problems of America and talks about fixing them. They can at least see someone who is vaguely aware of the reality. Uh, but I People think that uh, inflation is going to come down and prices are going to go back to the way they were before. They are gravely mistaken since Trump has talked about uh, putting high tariffs on foreign imports up to 100%. It's just going to make the cost of everything imported into the US so much higher. Inflation is going to skyrocket and I think America is going to have a far worse time under Trump than it did under Biden. And I think America's debt crisis is going to come to, the, uh, come to a head under Donald Trump as well. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, that's going to be crushing for America. Um, I don't think he's going to be able to get out of any of the US's wars. His boast to be able to end the Ukraine war within 24 hours coming into office is uh, that's going to come to naught. Um, what else? Yes, uh, he has no grasp of the actual situation in Ukraine or his role in actually st <coughs> provoking the war or at least laying the foundations for it in the first place. And he was the first one who started sending money and weapons to Ukraine back when it was just a civil war. So.
He has talked about making mistakes in his first presidency. I think he believed he. I think he said that on the Joe Rogan show when interviewed. But I don't think he actually said what those mistakes were. I mean, we still see. We've seen Lindsey Graham and other neocons at Trump events in the past. They haven't been kicked out, so he obviously doesn't have that bad a relationship with the neocons. He's still welcoming to them. And uh, some of his transition team, I believe they've mentioned Marco Rubio for some foreign policy job considering Marco Rubio is hawkish on all of US's victims, but particularly ones in Latin America, thinking of Venezuela here. Um, I think, I think the US is probably, I don't know if the US is gonna to go to war or not, but uh, somewhere else. I certainly wouldn't put it past it. Um, and of course, if it does go to war with Venezuela, it may end up being uh, attacked by... It, it would, in a lot of these non-Russian wars, but against targets which are allied with Russia, are friendly, friendly with Russia and have received Russian weapons. So if, for example, they are pulled in, they, he is pulled into a conflict with, say, Venezuela, and Venezuelans shoot back after attacked with, uh, they shoot back with uh, Russian weapons, fired, operated by Venezuelans, sorry, presumably, um, and that kills Americans. What then does the Trump administration do if it's losing men and suffers horrible defeats at the hands of Russian weaponry? Does it become considerably more hawkish towards Russia? I don't know. I think I've seen a, I've seen a lot of people commenting on how this is perhaps an era of hope, but I see no possible reason to believe that. It is nice seeing the Democrats have their ass handed to them, but I don't see things improving even in the slightest. There's been a lot of talk about what Trump's policy towards uh, his ideas of a um, ending the conflict in Ukraine are. Uh, a demilitarized zone, no entry for Ukraine into NATO for 20 years, and a ceasefire along the line of contact. none of which are acceptable to Russia. Um, but... Trump hasn't really come up with any ideas of his own. All of these ideas seem to have come from neocons around him who have been with his campaign at certain points, even presently, either at the present or in the past. So. I don't think there's going to be a, I wouldn't hold any hopes for hopes out for peace in a, in the in Ukraine area for a long time. Um, yeah, I think that's all I had to say this time for my ramble. Uh, well, until next time, have a good day. Feel free to comment, share, subscribe, uh, leave a like. And until next time, have a good day.